Good morning, dear students. This is Jonathan Kumar Roy, lecturer, Department of English, Uttar Bangla College, Kachinal Almat. Welcome to our online class. Today, I will share with you about Robert Frost adult life. In my previous class, I shared with you about Robert Frost early life and today I will share his adult life. Actually if you don't know about a poet then it will be very hard for you to understand his poetry. That's why it's very important to know about a poet. You know Robert Frost is an American poet. In 1894, he sold his first poem, My Butterfly, an elegy. It was published on 8 December, 8 November 1894. It was an edition of the new work independent and it was sold for 15 pounds of his accomplishment. He proposed marriage to Eleanor Miriam White but she demurred it wanting to finish college before they married. Frost then went on an excursion to the great dismal swamp in Virginia and asked Eleanor again upon to upon his return. Having graduated she agreed and then they were married at Lawrence on December 19, 1895. Frost attended Harvard University from 1897 to 1899, but he left voluntarily due to illness. Shortly before his death, Frost's grandfather purchased a farm for Robert and Eleanor in Derry, New Hampshire. Frost worked in the farm for nine years while writing early in the mornings and producing many of his poems that would later become famous. Ultimately his farming proved unsuccessful and he returned to the field of education as an English teacher in New Hampshire's Pinkerton Academy from 1906 and 1911. 1906 to 1911 he performed as an English teacher in that academy. Then at the New Hemisphere Normal School in Polymoth, New Hemisphere. In this time, he was also performing as a teacher. In 1912, Frost sailed with his family to Great Britain, settling first in Baconsfield, a small town in Buckinghamshire. 
outside London. His first book of poetry, A Boy's Will, was published the next year. In, Lon in England, he made some important acquaintances including Edward Thomas, T. E. Halmi and Isra Pond. Although Pound would become the first American to write a favorable review of Frost's works, Frost later resented Pound's attempt to manipulate his American prosody. Frost met or befriended many contemporary poets in England, especially after his first two poetry volumes were published in London in 1913. A Boy's Will and in 1940 North of Boston. In 1950 during the World War I, Robert Frost returned to America where holds American editor edition of A Boy's Will had recently been published and bought a farm in Francis Francornia, New Hemisphere where he launched a cancer of a career of writing, teaching and lecturing. This family homestead served as a frost summer home until 1938. It is maintained today as the frost place, a museum of, and poetry con conference site. He was made an honorary member of Phi Beta Kappa at Harvard in 1960. First taught English at Hamhurst College in Massachusetts, notably encouraging his students to account for the myriad sounds and intonations of the spoken English language in their writing. He said his colloquial approach to language, the sound of sense. Dear students, in his adult life, he traveled many places and he performed as a teacher in most of the time and he wrote many poems in this time. Thank you for today. In my next class, I will share more about Robert Frost. Thank you all.